Flash Guitars. Hello everyone, it's your boy Flash Cortez from ON5, you already know. If you don't know, now you know and welcome to my channel. So today I'll be teaching you how to make an African trap beat. I've, I've received many requests from many people, more especially on TikTok, asking me to drop these type of videos. So today I'll be doing a level one, which means it will be easier. I won't go harder as I go on my normal beats so it will be easier it will also be made for beginners so if you have a laptop near you just make sure that you do whatever i do and yeah don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified every time i drop so with that further ado let's get into it so this is step one obviously on the first step we have to find the bpm so since this is level one i prefer 125 as our bpm so i'll change this um, BPM to 125 and then when I turn on my metronome let me turn let me change and then when I turn on my metronome it will sound like this so this is the second step obviously on the second step that's when we get into business so uh, come to this part this section and then scroll down go to packs and then instruments and then keyboard and then close grand i prefer close grand because it sounds better than effort keys effort keys like effort keys doesn't sound that good so open your piano roll make sure that your metronome is on so that you can be on rhythm you mustn't go off rhythm and then make sure that this bar three two one is on so that it can count down before it starts and then if you've been using your if you have a midi keyboard and you've been trying to record your notes but then you fail you come here where where you record and then right click and make sure that your notes are on make sure that your notes are on so that every time when you record using your midi keyboard they it can record like the the notes so now let's record the notes so yeah these are my keys uh make sure that you quantize so that they, they can be straight online and then yeah so that they cannot be off rhythm and then yes obviously i don't use five like my 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 b doesn't like end at five here so obviously i'll i'll have to duplicate by duplicating you press ctrl b and then yeah it duplicates and then this is how my keys gonna sound So since you can see that there are spaces on my nodes, um, I don't fill them. So what I do, I fill them using expand. It's a plugin called expand. So I use a pad. It's either you can use a pad or strings. It's up to you. So I use a pad. Yes, sir. I come to this first, first, first line. It's called zero, zero soft pads. And then I come to a pad, which is written soft noise band. And then, yeah, I open it and then yes. Obviously, I'll have to record in order to close those gaps. So when it comes to a pad, that's when I fill my gaps. So obviously, I'll have to, to select everything and then I extend and then I cut, delete. And then obviously I shouldn't forget to quantize. And then this is how my pad will sound. Shouldn't forget to duplicate. Now, what we're gonna do now is to add like the strings. So for strings, I use the same plugin, expand. And then the ones that I use go to strings. And then the ones that I use, this one, it's called Spicato Strings Up plus Down plus, yes, and then open it. So I don't have to play, you don't have to play anything for strings, you just have to copy 
uh, what you did on the pad and then paste it on the strings and then yeah it'll play like this but then um for you to have style you just have to cut you have to cut like so that it can go like t t t t t t t t so yeah you'll have to cut So, when you are done cutting, this is how your strings gonna sound. But then, if you want your sound to have like a little bit of difference, you can uh, copy them and then put them on a high note. So, like to change the octaves, control and then use an upper arrow, and then this is how your strings gonna sound now. Yes, sir. So now I'm gonna use expand for the last time. So I'm gonna add expand for the last time. So you go to expand, open, and then go to vocals, and then choose the one that's written female E choir plus. And then this is how it sounds. So uh, you don't have to play all the keys. You just have to play the first keys and the last keys. So let's record. <laughs> And yes, don't forget to quantize. Make sure that you quantize every time. So now I'm gonna add a bass line. I'm not talking about an arrow eight. Now I'm talking about a bass line. So for the bass line, I use purity, and then purity presets. Obviously, you go to bass guitar. I use the second bass guitar. It's written Anna bass guitar. So yeah. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna record the bass. So don't mind how I played it. Obviously you have to play like it's just that like I decided to add a little bit of spice you for me. So yeah and most important things, quantize. So now we are coming to step three. Now we are adding the drums. So for drums, there's no drum kit that I would recommend. I use my drum kit. So but then if you want my drum kit, it's on sale. I sell it um it only cost hundred bucks or six dollars hundred rands or six dollars so you can see it's a recent flash cortez drum kit so for for this type of beats i use um this ne this this one the one that was produced on roll up but then um or oh, this one so on this video i'll be using this one so yes uh, let's use this one and yeah, I guess we all know that in each and every beat we use C5. So yeah. Let me increase and then duplicate. So yeah, this is how it's gonna sound. decided to add a little bit so that it can have style for me so it'll sound like this so now let's add an open head so for an open head I prefer cage yeah I prefer this one so yeah let's use cage so yeah, we do okay. And then we add a little bit of a bell. So let's add a church bell. It's under hits. This one. 
and then sound like this so now I'm gonna add some shakers so where's the shakers I'm gonna use some shakers so my shakers will like will go like t -t 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 just to keep that groove going you feel me so yeah let me I will go like this. so what I'll have to do is to duplicate and then everything will sound like this so now i'm gonna add a hi-hat so for hi-hat uh, i prefer jacobi it's called jacobi that's how i named it so you have to understand guys when you play an african trap beat it gotta be like gotta be different to a normal trap beat so you come here make sure that your step like your step is on one over six step and then when you s paste you say one two three four five and then you paste and then it'll sound like and then say again one two three four five and then you paste and then you duplicate now you change to line and then duplicate after duplicating it will sound like this so and then that's when you'll chop so i won't shoot a part while chopping because i can see that we are on 11 minutes so i don't want to waste time so i'm done chopping and this is how it sounds <laughs> So now the next step, um, now we are adding a Congo, so I prefer this one, Conga 2, so yeah, I want it to play, like to sound like, kit, 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 kit. so you paste here, and then you open another, you do what you did on the hi-hats, you open one out of six step, and then you zoom in, and then make sure that this is here yeah. now let me turn on this one paste paste and then it will sound like and then after you duplicate you know you duplicate because i wanted to play throughout the whole pattern and then now it will sound like this yeah. 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 so now we're going to the kick now so for kicks i prefer this one the first one on my drum kit yeah so yeah so yeah i'll just show you the results so now i'm done so the reason why i'm cutting this part is because like I've, i'm seeing that like this video now it's it's getting long and i don't want to like do longer videos so this is how the kick sounds like um let me open the kick first first so this is how the kick sounds like so now it's time to add those legendary vox you know you know them <laughs> if you love the distana songs obviously you get them DJ Zaka obviously you hear them so yeah let me start with this one so let me start with this one so this one you paste it once jump once jump like this but then yeah it must be the main one it gotta sound like this so yeah you gotta make sure that it's in tune like it's not off tune so let me just fix them first first three of them and then i'll play the final version so yeah if you want this box don't be scared to slide 
here's my number i'll write them like i'll write my number below and then slide and tell me when you want the drum kit and then i'll give you the pricing this drum kit has 400 sounds and it also has these fox so yeah let me just pack everything i, I don't wanna like i don't want my vox like to be off tune so i wanna pack everything three of them so that like, i will play the whole uh the final version so this is how they sound <laughs> So now I'm gonna play the log drum and the 808. So after that, I'll play the whole version. I won't play the part where I'll be mixing because it will be long. So I'll do everything and then after I'll play the the beat. And then if you like it, don't worry, the beat will be the link to the beat will be on my description. So just click my description and then click the link and then so that you can access the beat and then if you like it you can download it on mp3 juices or chubit any any website that you you can like download things from youtube so yeah and then from there i think i'll be done so if you want me to show you how i mix my beats you can comment tell me what you want next tell me if you want like longer videos if you want me to play everything from scratch even mixing and packing the parts and everything and then i'll do it for you so yes <laughs> So yeah man, I'm done with the beat. If you like it, there's a link on my description. Click and access the beat. So it's your boy Flash Quartz from 015 signing out.